It is Sunday, June 11th, 2023. I'm out here at Johnny Carson Park in Burbank for the annual Road Kings car show uh, that they do every year. In fact, I used to come to this years ago with my father. He used to bring his cars out for this one. Uh, this is a bit of a cloudy morning. There's a little bit of sprinkling on the way out here from Pasadena. Uh, not sure. It's says very, very slight chance of rain and drizzle. So a lot of cars are still coming. My buddy's over here with his... Uh, gremlin uh, but there's a lot of great stuff to see a lot of great hot rod history on display at this show uh, if you've ever been to it or watched uh, my video from last year you'll know what i'm talking about so without further ado let's go get started and see what's here all right so here goes uh, mike and his uh gremlin x i just talked to him that's why i didn't get a shot of the car coming you want to go here now but they are definitely still rolling into uh, tony carson park here so they have a uh, custom Mercury class this year. A bunch of Volkswagen rolling in. I'm gonna start showing some of these uh, Volkswagen transporters. Next week we have uh, at uh, Pomona, we got the Ellie Roadster show. I'm gonna try to hit that on Saturday. And then I'm gonna try to hit Cruz and Brea on Sunday next week on Father's Day. I did pick up a new car uh, from the 60s. I announced it in the last video. So I'm gonna try to get a video up of the new car. It is a GM vehicle from the 60s and it is a uh, older custom. I think those were the clues I gave in uh, yesterday's video. And uh, I'll try to do a video on it for that week I'm out of town, which is in uh, mid uh, July. That's when I'm out of town. So I'm gonna try to get a video together of that by then. All right, and uh, next, it's a couple weeks we got Pomona Swap Meet on the 25th. This uh, Mustang. And for the uh, Mopar guys, there's this Challenger. tentative list on what shows I'm planning on hitting. It'll be in the comments section of the video shortly after post, uh, it takes the video goes live on YouTube. Our first uh, van of this meet. High top Chevy camper. Complete with a uh, vintage CB. I've actually got a vintage CB and a uh, vintage antenna still in the packaging. Gonna be going on my Matador eventually. No. 
Also, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. The algorithm's been really goofy on YouTube lately, and it hasn't been recommending my videos to new people, so if you have a friend or somebody you know that might you think might be interested in watching these videos, be sure to suggest it to them. And that actually goes for any channel you like to watch on YouTube because it's been they've been doing it to pretty much everybody. Seventy Chevelle. Thirty-two hot rod. We have fifty-seven Chevy Nomad. Fifty six Mercury. Modern Mustang. Mike's uh, Gremlin. I usually park next to him in my Pacer. This is a very clean. This guy is what car wins a lot of awards. Got an Opal station wagon, Cadet. And these were German GMs sold at Buick dealerships. So modern Mopar muscle, this Hellcat. Custom Ford. That's Buick, love wanted to make sure I got the rims with the hearts on it because it is a love he's even got heart shaped exhaust tips A little mini, right hand drive. That's 1956 Thunderbird. LS Power 68 Camaro. Feel it? 
I was like, how's the brakes? He's great. I'm going to just like Very nice. Ford F1. Make a roll into this car since they got a break in the music. This uh, 67 Chevelle. The big block. It's our first C10 of the video. It's 56 Chevy delivery. My 65 Plymouth Barracuda with the hound's tooth up interior. This MG with a, a V8. There's a lot going on here because it also has a vintage camper on the back. This very clean Kaiser Jeep. Custom Mercury. A uh, Rolls Royce for all you Grey Poupon fans. Even right hand drive. Ford Fairlane. Sometimes Memphis town, a revenue to chase them, but they couldn't run. Make us run your last. Tank is filled with hundred proof. You're all tuned up and dead. Memphis thunder, 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 thunder. It's the kind of stuff you'll see next week in Pomona. Roadster pickup. Yeah, the Shelby GT500. That was a 1970 model. Well, Malays fans, here's this old 98 coupe. We had twin pops in the Columbia bus. So let's see, we got a uh, moonroof. We made three spots out of many good towns and left the top heads spinning around. down at my lovely bride, her face was That's 55 Chevy. That's 56 Nomad. Has a uh, chair farm in front of it. Better get the best shot I can here. Chair farm. 64 Lincoln Continental. Yeah, just a hopped up Model A. This is custom Woody. A pink Cadillac. I will give a hint on my new project car. It is not a Cadillac. <laughs> I'll just keep giving a hint to every video. Chevy pickup with a uh, dump bed on it. A custom Buick Riviera. And a tea bucket. Take the streets, I'll make it home. 
68 Olds Cutlass Convertible. We'll do a Carmen Ghia. Looks like a transporter pickup. Clean 55 Bel Air two to hard top. Let me get this Riviera while they're doing announcements. Dr. Rochelle over there, get your raffle tickets because we're going to start doing the first drawing in just a few moments. So get those raffle tickets while they're hot. And now we're getting into the custom merch area. So the next, I don't know, 10 cars or so are all going to be custom Mercury's or, or custom Mercury. If you watch full custom garage, you've seen this packer, the Merc Eater. Nice traditional marker. Got a vintage cooler there. I think I got a couple of those in my garage somewhere. of the Hirohata Merc, but done as a convertible. Merc with a 54 Chevy grill. There's a Merc with a 53 Chevy girl. A Mercury Woody. Plenty of beautiful Mercs to look at here. This was actually at the show at Santa Anita yesterday. This 
Barris built 40 Mercury. Well, we'll give you another look. I believe it was, it was also a Grand National Roadster show. Um, Mercury's are rolled in late. I actually drove my 2004 Mercury to this event. My Grand Marquis. <laughs> I think the Beach Boys CD is skipping. My beautiful Thunderbird. Uh, 65 GTO with three deuces. Get into the raffle. You may win. It's going to be great. And then there's the Packard Burke sitting here too. And you watch. A very 90s style rod. So it's just trying to be. Nice traditional roadster, the flathead. <laughs> this big Packard. Nice 65 Volkswagen bus. I actually had a bus meet last week, I guess, for the unveiling of the new one. I had no clue I would have gone down and filmed it. It's one of the events I found out about after the fact, which does happen, unfortunately. Let me over here because there's a whole conference going on in front. I can't get a get up there. <laughs> Nineteen twenty-three Moreland bus. This was here last year as well. This thing is pretty wild. Bring and show this forty-nine Ford. 
Burbank police car. This one's been making the rounds at local shows for many years. Now that sheet up there with all the license plate numbers, that's the hot sheet. That was the what cars were stolen or of interest to the police. And they would mount it right there on the dashboard. This vintage Crown fire engine. I always got to show the fire engines. It's like a tradition on the channel to show every fire engine that shows up at these shows. This beautifully restored crown. This is another one that the Burbank Fire Department has. It's a 1913 Marlin. Lots of brass to clean. It was a 55 Vespa Allstate that's been converted to Vespa badges. Of course, the Allstates would say Vespa. I used to own a few 50s uh, Allstates myself. Of course, the Allstate was the Vespa sold at Sears. This one's got the original accessory set. Motorcycles are on display, including this vintage Triumph Bonneville. Look at this trike. You have to do a nice walk around on this just so you can get the full the sissy bar and the complete view of it. Got this Toyota Celica for all the Radwood crowd. This heavily modified 40 coupe. And mine's actually put on hold. I was supposed to work on it this week while my daughter was out of the country with her mother and uh, I had things to deal with at the property that the family owns, unfortunately, and also I picked up that other car, so I was uh, going to do the wiring on it this week. So I still want to get to it. Benz SL Roadster. It was a 190 1956 model. Right, yeah, 
some of the cars that are a little further away, hopefully from the speakers, and I'll be able to get away with a little bit more without worrying about the copyright issues. We're gonna be taking a picture with this. Okay. We're at Santa Maria. Oh, okay. Come on there. Okay, this is. We got uh, some folks from a galaxy uh, far away, <laughs> far, far away. <laughs> So I, can, I can get the rest of the Suburban. And for all the uh, Star Wars fans. Yeah. I'm a little bit different at this car show. <laughs> I gotta go over there, might want to get in their shot. I to get to some of these El Caminos. Got them over here on this flag. <laughs> Never know what you're going to see at a car show. It's a nice Ford F100. So the show does not have as big of a turnout as last year, I'm guessing because of the threat of rain. So they do normally fill in the show pretty good. Obviously this year is a uh, special case due to the weather. We've actually had really cold and rainy weather. I said it's almost mid-June and I'm wearing a sweatshirt. And this is Southern California. Check this one. It's got an LT1 swapped into this uh, GMC. This F100 short bed so it's a bump side this looks like a GM it's actually a GM tailgate though <laughs> I guess if you put the Ford letters uh, on the back it makes it a Ford tailgate but definitely GM looking it's 57 wagon Stingray. There's a 69. Small block variety. I was at warp speed, not quite for Star Wars. Apparently, the uh, force is with the uh, 59 Impala lowrider. Uh, that was the uh, land speeder, the first intergalactic lowrider. What do you think? Leave it in the comments. Look at this 59. If you like lowriders, check out my video from yesterday at Santa Anita Park where I did the uh, Bomb Club car show, which is on the uh, racetrack infield. Another 59. This one's a Bizkeen four door sedan. So let's get the uh, plastic on the upholstery. Total grandma style. I haven't found a car that had plastic on the upholstery in a while. Like. Uh, like a car that I bought or something. I, I used to run into that like 20 years ago. So I had a Cutlass Rally 350. Yes, this was factory. They are kind of rare. I remember growing up, they used to be one of these running around uh, Culver City. Just like that. This one walk around style. Sunbeam Tiger. The Ford V8. I got this uh, stake bed Chevy with the dual stacks. to the 62 Impala. So there's a lot of great lowriders in the video from yesterday. That was just, I think they said they had 500 cars. They, they sold out that show at Santa Anita. It really was like a fantastic show. 
So like I said, it's definitely worth checking out that video. It's another 40 Ford. This one is a two-door sedan. This is a 59 Ford Fairlane built into a Batmobile replica. Said it was built in the 70s according to the plaque. Said it was off the roads in 77. Until it's a 59 Ford Dash. This thing is pretty wild. It's custom Mercury. Ford F100, very orange. I'm gonna go back to that a conference. There's Pontiac 42. Seven Chevy Impala. Those F Series Harley Davidson trucks. There's actually still cars arriving. I think I think the guys who are pre-registered are starting to realize it's not going to rain. So now they're coming in late it's actually a whole other section of the show up top I still have, I still haven't finished the bottom yet but I still gotta as soon as I finish that I go up to the top it's a 40 uh, Ford pickup and for the Malays fans here's this Mazda I think it's very clean. Not sure what this is. A 66. So I, I don't know if this is an original car that was just well kept or it is very clean. Obviously you don't really see these. One looks like it was uh, probably done like the 80s or 90s. What are you gonna do about the? Uh, the uh, Very nice tea. Fascinating police dodge. We've seen this one before. Various shows. <laughs> Very nice Buick Special. Let's roll into this uh, Ford. It's a 74 Camaro. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is about an 82 vet or so. This one's got the <laughs> crossfire injection. Let's call these the disco era Corvettes. And roll into this. Uh, 69 Corvette, big block, 427, 390 horse. With a four speed. We have a chair farm sprouting up back there. Nice original Chevy C10 with a Straight six. And there's no music over here, so I can roll into this 64 Sunbeam Tiger. Another big block 69 Corvette 390 horse. This one's actually a coupe okay. with the T tops. Coe historic drag vehicles. Fiat Topolino. This your car? No. Oh. <laughs> El Camino. Those who are missing the uh, Long Beach footage today, because there's usually about 10 of these at the Long Beach Swap Meet. <laughs> and they're getting ready to fire this one up. Unfortunately, whenever I film that, it blows out the mic pretty bad. You can imagine. So we got the uh, Ford Falcon Club. up on the upper level of this if you ever come to this show there's two levels of cars and it's very easy to miss the upper level if you don't know so has a uh, aftermarket manifold on the uh, inline six So 
Falcon Wagon. Beers for only 32,000. Falcon Sprint with a four speed. V8 uh, early Mustang, 289 car. Air conditioning. The Austin Healy 3000 Roadster. And British Racing Green. Southern Thunderbird. So same owner since 1960. Little Falcon Ranchero with matching trailer. The barbecue Porsche Speedster. Seven Bel Air. A fifty seven Bel Air convertible converted to EV with a faux V eight. How much more do you get out of it? whole uh, battery pack back there. There you go, LA Roadsters next week. <laughs> I'm actually going to go Saturday because last year I uh, went Friday and it was... Uh, <laughs> Kind of dead, so Saturday's definitely the better day to go. They also have a good swap meet. Probably Friday, if you're gonna do both days, I would do do the swap meet on Friday, and then uh, Saturday uh, go in there and do the uh, the main show. It's an electric 32 Ford with a faux flathead with dummy up carburetors. There's the plug in on the uh, fuel tank. Right over here. I'm not sure if this one's another EV or not. Oh, this one actually has a gas, this one actually has an LS. A Chevy pickup. Very cool custom C10 short bed. It's 
I believe it's a Jaguar kit car. Not sure what it's built on. This one's called a Panther. Probably done in the 70s, judging by that. I don't know if you can see there's an 8-track deck under the dash. MFM 8-track. So it's a 72. So what happens when crybaby dolls grow up. They start messing with your car. As soon as they can get over that bumper, that's when you gotta watch them. That's when they start taking parts off. <laughs> Come to the Mike Frankovich YouTube channel for all your crybaby doll humor. <laughs> oh, that's when they get really old. They start, they start getting in and wanting to ride. That's traditional coupe with a uh, V8 in it. Very original looking. Sixty Pontiac. A Chevelle Tour Wagon, sixty four. Yeah, this uh, Willis Gasser. I've only seen this one at shows before. Let me over here give you a look. I'm far enough from the music to get a long clip in. This one has a Dodge with a non Dodge engine. That's a Chevy. kind of busy. This is his uh, Buick station wagon. He's had this car many years. In fact, I haven't run into him anywhere in probably about three or four years now. Yeah. Very nice Buick. Uh, 58 Lincoln Continental Convertible. This one you don't really ever see these around. One of the more interesting designs from Lincoln. 
the Thunderbird we saw rolling in. The square bird. I would have gone out the middle of the city. I would have gone out the middle of the city. I would have gone out the middle of the Sixty nine Camaro Super Sport. Seventy Mustang on one. trailer. Sixty-four Ford Thunderbird. This one's the uh, base coupe. Of course, they had three models. They had this one with the style roof. They had the Landau and then convertible. The sixty-eight Cougar XR7. Not sure if this is the car from Dust Till Dawn or not, but. Yeah, this picture is still from the movie there. Let's see if he says that. I don't know, he's got the... Uh, I guess that could be the car, I guess, before it was restored. Seems like if it was, you'd leave it looking like it was in the movie. So not price sure. right here. Interesting panel with a chair farm sprout in front of it. So the one owner 65 GTO. Interesting chopped uh, Chevy. Could happen. Oh, Nothing else. Not about it, 
Tall the hood is. Cars. <laughs> we're going on here. Looks like he's got it. Uh, he's got it uh, swapped onto the body of a ranger or something like that. There's 68 Olds 442. This 90s style rod. I actually saw this car on the freeway uh, driving over here this morning. <laughs> We're going to slow in on the 134. Oh, no, it's been a refund. Riviera. A 55 Ford Victoria. Sixty seven Camaro. Pontiac, either Tempest or Le Mans, he debadged it. 66. It's a Mercury Marauder. It's basically the hot rod version of my Grand Marquis. And this Dodge uh, Dark Demon. Yeah, it might be far away. There's a guy with his door open and left his stare running in his car and walked away from it. Like I said, that ain't... Big block uh, dart. A Firebird Bluebird. Was a package on these. They actually made a, they were red bird and a yellow bird. I had a friend of mine in the Navy had the yellow bird, which was extremely, this is the sky bird. That's right, his was the yellow bird. So this is 59 Impala Lowrider. Yeah. Nice. He did the stick. I'm glad he did the stick. 64. Nice clean uh, 60 convertible. Hounds tooth upholstery. Twin antennas and a continental. So 
Regal that's ready to go drag racing. So it's actually a T-type Regal. The uh, turbo. Another Regal T-type. Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. It's for NASCAR. So the El Camino with a Monte Carlo front end. GTO. It was a Charger 500. So that's why they, that's why they modified. Uh, Chevy pickup, one's for sale. For the swap meet rules. <laughs> I get too close to the other playing music, and this is already an awkward hill to film. July, we have the Montrose Car Show. And I believe I've got Long Beach scheduled again. There's a few other shows I have for July. July is always a tough one because a lot of they don't schedule a lot uh, for that month. Since it's quite warm, then August it comes back. May still do Washington State, I don't know yet. Let's see where the how much it's going to cost to do. All right, it's going to wrap things up here at the Road King Show at Johnny Carson Park in Burbank, California. There were a lot of great cars here. It was a little bit lighter turnout than it normally they normally get because of uh, the rain that was supposed to happen that didn't actually happen. So there's a lot of folks that actually missed out on this show because it was a great one. Lots of amazing cars to see here. Uh, next week I'm off to LA Roadsters in Pomona and possibly cruising Brea on that Sunday. And a lot of other amazing uh, videos coming up for you on the channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, be sure to spread the word about the channel because YouTube's algorithm has been kind of goofy lately and hasn't been showing it to a lot of new people. Uh, and we, re we always need uh, new people coming in and checking out these awesome videos and these amazing car shows. Uh, so and until next time, I'll be seeing you.